Okay, I'd like to call the uh, town commission meeting of Friday, June 14th to order uh, from Pledge for Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Renee, call the roll, please. Commissioner Green. Here. Commissioner Canfield. Here. Commissioner Orthline. Here. Vice Mayor Stanley. Here. Let it also be known, present is Assistant Town Attorney Nazaro, Chief Jones, CFO Mark Bymaster, and myself. Absent with notice is Mayor Morgan and Town Manager Dunham. Uh, we need a motion to approve the minutes for the regular meeting of May 14th. Any comments, additions, or changes? I move to approve the minutes. Second. Commissioner Green. Yes. Commissioner Canfield. Yes. Commissioner Orthline. Yes. Vice Mayor Stanley. Yes. Uh, next, we've just got the uh, next commission meetings, July, August, and September for all those who like to attend those meetings. And then we're moving on to uh, seven item seven, which is communication from the public. I believe uh, first up is Ms. Geiger, General Counsel, Palm Beach County Commission on Ethics. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Honda Geiger with the Palm Beach County Commission on Ethics. Um, hello again. This is my yearly visit just to remind you all that we are here. Um, remind everybody who is here and maybe watching that, um, you know, we just firmly believe in transparency and that that is what keeps our democracy moving forward, especially at the local level. When people lose faith in local, their local government, that just transitions all the way down the line and it just causes a disconnect and people start feeling like their vote doesn't matter. And we have to remind everybody, of course, that their vote does. Um, so to that end, we were talking just before this that you know we're really hoping to be an agency, a proactive agency, as opposed to a reactive agency. Um, I mean, that would be great for everybody if we just answered questions instead of taking any enforcement action. Um, so to that end, we are here. Whenever you have a question, whenever you have a concern, we do our best to get back to you immediately. Um, to get you an answer immediately so you can move forward um, and just again to promote that reaching out asking um, first before you take that action so um, thank you for having me always it's always nice to come out here um, it's always nice to start my Friday like this start my weekend here um, and I'm here for any questions if you have any great any questions from the Commission Not no Hopefully the pins work this year. I heard you guys got a good joke last year. It's worked great so far. So. Oh, fantastic! I, I said I, I said I think I remember last year saying that I should pay you to take those um, because they did definitely have no value. They are not. You do not have to declare anything I've left. Um, they are de minimis and maybe negative uh, of negative value. So um, anyway, thank you and no questions. If nope. you have any questions, great. Right? Thank you for coming. All Thanks right, for your thank support. You thank you for having thank you. me. All right. Thanks so thank much. You. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Uh, there are no uh, applications uh, on the agenda, so we're moving now down to item eight reports. Uh, Trey is our co town's assistant co town manager, is going to take over for Mr. Dunham here. Thank you, Vice Mayor. So, with uh, Greg out recovering from uh, knee surgery, I'm happy to pinch in. So, the first item is the CIP update. So, we had our first monthly progress meeting yesterday, it was about two hours long. The meetings are scheduled for the week of the commission meeting each month, so we can provide the commission with real-time updates as to the progress of the construction. Uh, as this was the first of the monthly meetings, the contractor was not prepared to give a three-week look ahead, uh, but was sort of counseled by our engineers uh, to provide that going forward so our update to the commission can be a little bit more thorough. Uh, Ron Sellers, uh, who's our boots on the ground from Baxter Woodman, was there along with uh, Rick Chipman, a jockey, our designing engineer, myself, uh, Chief Jones, <clears throat> uh, and, uh, and Renee, along with the owner of the company, the contractor, and then two of the gentlemen who supervised that. So it was uh, a lot of uh, items were on the table for discussion. Uh, Part of that was what comes part and parcel from starting at the low end of town at Old School and Right Way, encountering difficulty due to the high water table. And they have installed the water line on Right Way, uh, and they just need to hook up some services there. And they have a few structures still to install on uh, on Old School till they get to to Polo. Uh, another another part of the project that was identified. 
uh, as potentially impacting residents is the addition of approximately 20 new fire hydrants. Uh, so we're currently reviewing those plans to ensure the placement is the least impactful to residents. Uh, obviously, we had our a water line that was installed in the alleyway behind the homes along Polo and Gulf Stream between Gulf View Road and Lake View. Uh, so that is going out to be ro relocated into the street and some hydrants are added to the project to uh, improve uh, fire safety for uh, for the community. So that's, uh, that's my update on the CIP. Any questions? Uh, so when did they officially start on the uh, old school road project? So Roughly about three weeks ago, give or take. Anthony, when was the? Uh, it was April twenty third. April twenty third is the yeah. official start date. Okay. Okay. Are they knee deep in it now? And they, yeah. So it's moving pretty fast. So they're going to probably be in there till what? October one, give or take. It's not moving Yeah. <laughs> so the reason that they're not. Moving I need fast you to go to the microphone, the, Anthony. The, the reason why they're not moving fast at all is because a lot of the stuff that's under the ground right now, which is the old peat moss, that's. Mm -hmm. Um, unsuitable materials, they have okay. to remove all that. So while they're removing that, they have to backfill everything with different materials and um, deal with all the water that's, you know, ground surface water that they're trying to figure out where they're going to pump it. And they finally got their uh, the dewatering permit yeah. and stuff. So um, now with all that being done, hopefully we can rock and roll a little bit more. But um, he said he's going to try to put in 300 feet today, but I don't see that happening. Yeah, well, it looks like they're they're mobilized and ready to backfill today. Uh, any has anybody from the staff received any calls or whatnot about the driveway aprons yet? Is that I've got going okay? Multiple complaints already in regards to existing driveways that are there that um, have been removed because of the curbing that's going to go in. Yeah. And, um, Stride is one of them. Um, yeah. Uh, Joan has reached out to me and asked me if they're going to do the repairs to it, and I told her, yeah. Um, I want to say Simberg, but they didn't even remove any pavers off of Simberg's driveway yet. So sure, yeah, I think um, there's a couple more further down. So yeah, I mean it's just going to be a a weekly or daily occurrence. We're yeah, kind of tracking that for the residents. But for right now, they're leaving the materials butted up to the drive mm -hmm. so they can still get in and out. So okay, yeah, yeah. Well, we expected that. So just navigating. Yeah. Thanks, Anthony. Okay. Uh, next uh, ad hoc. Or excuse me, 2900 Avenue Asole update, Trey. So this was not on the agenda last month, I don't believe. So I just want to update you that the structure has been demolished and the new owner is working on securing permits for the new water line uh, connecting from Blue Water Cove through the back of the seawall. Part of the settlement agreement or the agreement that we reached uh, a few months ago included replacing the seawall. So all this is uh, is in process, but I just wanted to update as to the uh, the status of the property. It has come down. We had uh, a few complaints during construction because it was uh, a very, very thick uh, foundation. So there was a lot of noise, uh, but we connected the new owner with uh, the uh, the resident who had some issues and it got resolved to everyone's satisfaction. So happy to report that. Okay, moving along on that project. Thank goodness. Uh, item three of ad hoc committee update. Trey. All right, thank you. <clears throat> so the ad hoc committee met on May 14th and discussed zoning regulations from the town of Palm Beach, including angle of vision, which is actually called building height plane. Um, that uh, we talked touched a little bit on that uh, last month. Uh, since that meeting, Greg and I have met with the town of Palm Beach and, and found uh, some, some very uh, interesting facts about that and how we're gonna perhaps incorporate that into any recommendation. Uh, the committee also reviewed a number of, uh, a list of items that they have uh, built from discussions during previous meetings and those were actively discussed. It was decided that the committee will not attempt to conclude uh, this summer, but instead will sort of take as long as is needed uh, to reach a conclusion. But uh, Mr. Lyons is adamant that they keep things moving uh, from month to month and continue to have productive meetings. And their next meeting is next uh, Friday, June 21st. Um, on that, I don't know what's re what's typically required with the proposed changes, but there do you think everyone has the bandwidth just to kind of do that and it comes before us at a public meeting or do you think not to add a meeting at some point that the commission needs to have a workshop which is on the record but not on the regular regular meeting day that can be uh, we can discuss that at uh yeah, with the right. ad hoc 
yeah. once, once they are ready to make the recommendation. I think it's, it's going to be a lot. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, so, and it may be that we have like a, a joint meeting between the, the ARPB and the, and the right. commission or something okay. like that. Uh, they have mentioned that any potential adjustments to FAR are kind of on the table still. Um, so if we're making significant changes that are going to be impactful, such such as that, I would yeah, suggest that we get everyone involved, all the stakeholders and, and the other um, the other committees. Sure. Uh, thank you. Uh, next item is check valves update. I don't know if that's Trey and or Anthony. So, uh, yeah, I, I talked to Mr. Beltran about this a little bit. Uh, in 2021, the town replaced or added check valves to seven of the town's drainage outfalls into the intercoastal. Uh, this prevents seawater from flowing into the town's drainage infrastructure when high tides occur. Two of these check valves uh, had failed and they were replaced under warranty at no cost to the town. So if anyone saw that activity, that was actually something that was replaced under warranty by our contractor as part of our original bid from a few years ago. So just wanted to re report that. All right, thank you. Uh, next, Architectural Review and Planning Board. You see the upcoming meetings. There is no August meeting for the uh, uh, ARB. Uh, and now uh, Finance Director Report. I think this is back to Trey. Uh, no, or Mark. I'll send it to Mark. <laughs> yeah. um, there's nothing unusual for the month of May, except for we did pay the first check to the contractor for the core project mm -hmm. of approximately $144,000. And then we did add that to the new capital projects fund. Got it. Uh, any questions nope. on that? OK, thank you. Uh, water report. And just ask the report be accepted as submitted. All right, thank you. Uh, Police Chief, Chief Jones. Good morning, Vice Mayor. Morning. I just wanted to make uh, the commission aware. I did have the pleasure to be invited as one of only 70 agencies in the country to attend an FBI conference the beginning of the month. Uh, that conference was intended to provide us with an outlook of what the FBI can do for a small agency as far as resources and partnership, as well as give us some training opportunity to see things that we may not be aware of uh, in technology and funding and various other areas. So that was uh, actually a, a very good uh, thing to attend and they funded 100% of the conference. So it didn't cost the town anything for us to attend. Uh, really nothing beyond that as, as, as it relates to that conference. Uh, I would ask that you accept the report as uh, submitted. If you have any questions about the report, I'll be more than happy to answer those questions. We did have one burglary uh, by definition, but really what it was was leftover roofing materials that was stolen from a job site. Uh, we do have a suspect and we are working that case uh, currently. So we're just in that process of investigative uh, phase at this point. All right. Thank you. Any questions for the chief? No, sounds good. All right. Just one quick, any yeah. update on the camera system working well? So the camera system is actually uh, working phenomenally. Um, we are looking at uh, partnering with some uh, other communities like the HOA and Place Ocelay to extend some of the technology and integration of the video system to give us a little more of a comprehensive view, um, but we're not quite ready to talk too much about that project. Uh, but what we currently have in place has been very effective, um, and uh, the captain and I were talking this morning, <clears throat> need a knock on wood, but um, we've had very, very little criminal activity, uh, almost none in the last 12 months, probably as a result of mm -hmm. our enforcement efforts and obviously the uh, installation of those cameras. Great. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Uh, on to uh, item, item nine, items for commission action. Uh, waste management extension, eighth addendum. I think it's in our package. Uh, yes, sir. So uh, this is a six month only extension to our agreement with waste management. They previously offered only a six month extension at a rate increase of 22%, if you remember a few months ago, uh, which was approved at the March meeting. Uh, we're currently working with a consultant to put this uh, work out to bid, and they were concerned about the quick turnaround of only six months of the bidding and any potential transition of services. Uh, so this additional six month uh, extension was asked by the town and, and we got an uh, acceptance and. Uh, from waste management, the rate increase after the uh, our current six-month extension will be only three percent, so you know, reasonable. 
and it'll allow the tra transition uh, to potentially a new provider occur in April as opposed to October. So that was something that we were kind of concerned about uh, as a town as well. If we were going to transition to a new waste hauler doing it right in the middle of the season, uh, that could be you know, potentially problematic for, for, a, for a new hauler and, and for the phones ringing here at Town Hall. Uh, it also is going to allow for a more thorough procurement. So uh, we just ask that and recommend a, a approval of this, and this will take us with waste management through uh, April of next year. Thank you. Oh, we need a motion to approve the uh, eighth addendum to the waste management agreement, the extension. Yeah, yes, yes we do. motion. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the eighth amendment to the waste management extension. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Commissioner Green? Yes. Commissioner Canfield? Yes. Commissioner Orthwine? Yes. Vice Mayor Stanley? Yes. Uh, next item is Amendment 3 to the Interlocal Agreement for Fire Rescue Services from the City of Delray Beach. Trey? All right. Thank you, Mr. Vice Mayor. So for more than 30 years, the City of Delray Beach uh, Fire Department has provided services to the town of Gulfstream. This is a five-year extension contemplated by the most recent agreement in 2009. It has a built-in cost increase that will stay uh, the same under the current agreement, which is either 5% or the All Urban Consumers United States April Consumer Price Index, whichever is greater. Uh, so we are, are pleased with the services that we've been provided. I spoke with the current chief, Chief Green, uh, and he was very positive about his department's relationship with the town and our residents, and I return the sentiment and thank him for the, his department's continued service to the town. Uh, so we just need a, a motion to approve this uh, extension, and then it will go on, I believe, the July 7th agenda for Delray Beach, mm -hmm. and we'll continue for another five years with uh, Delray Beach Fire. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a motion, please. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, interlocal agreement for fire rescue services from Delray Beach. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Commissioner Green. Yes. Commissioner Canfield. Yes. Commissioner Orthwine. Yes. Vice Mayor Stanley. Yes. Uh, last, uh, items for mayor and commissioners. Anybody have any other items to address on the commission side first? None? So. None. Trey, any other, any other items? Nothing else from staff. Thank you. Okay. Well, the meeting is now adjourned. Thank you, everybody.